I'm saying this because I care about you. What's going to happen when you testify? I have promised Fatma Ghul that I would be a witness. If it's the last thing I do, they'll be punished. But you will be the one who gets hurt. Do you know something? All I know is that you'll be the one getting hurt. I don't want that at all. Your father said to watch out for you. It's my job to protect you. That is not anyone's job. I have promised that I would help Fatma Ghul, and I won't break that promise, okay? And I want you to help Fatma Ghul more than anyone else. But I'm afraid of what might happen, Meltem. Do you think that the Yasurans will leave you alone after everything? Huh? Aren't you afraid of revenge then? They are the reason for my father's death. How could they do worse than that? They could reveal our relationship too. And how could they prove that? Well, Yasar was watching you, wasn't he? You saw him that time you were leaving my house. Who knows, maybe he had come into my house. What the hell are you saying? How can we be so sure that they didn't do the exact thing they did to your father? You're saying that they might have recorded us together? I would expect anything from them, Meltem. Your name is already in the newspapers. If that were true, think what would happen. Think of all the problems for you. Could you even handle that, Meltem? And could your mother handle it? She'd be devastated. Could you do this to your mother? They're already telling awful things. There's no limit to what they will do. And if you speak in favor of Fatma Ghul's case, they will all go crazy. They'll also make sure your life becomes unbearable, Meltem. Fatma Ghul has all the media behind her. All these women's rights groups are with her. And who is on your side? No one is. And your name will be slandered, that's all. Meltem. Please, listen. Fatma Ghul will win the trial without you being a witness for her anyway. Listen, I'm serious. Don't let those criminals hurt you over nothing. I promise that I would protect you. I don't want to see you hurt by this now. Uh, what is it, Mother? <laughs> oh, Allah, I'm mother now. I had no idea you were such a funny guy, Mustafa. Mother, right, huh? <laughs> Hello? So that means you're with Melton, then? I am. So how's everything going? <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm on it. Don't you worry. I'll come and pick you up this evening, okay? <laughs> uh, oh, okay, dear son. Good job. Glad to see that you're working on it, huh? Do I have a choice? <laughs> Mustafa, you can't say anything back if I curse at you, can you, huh? <laughs> See you soon. <laughs> Is your mother going to live with you now? Yes, she'll be with me from now on. She doesn't have anyone except me. You know that she's not well. Her kidneys have problems. I can't leave her alone, so she moved in. You did well. And how is everything with your wife? Good. Everything is fine. She's in Gumushain to be with her mother. She'll be there for a while. Are you going to come to the trial, then? Are you still determined to go despite all of my warnings? I don't know yet. Just tell me if you're going or not. No, I won't go. All right, I should go, then. Melto. Wait up for me, please, and listen. Don't do something you'll regret. You shouldn't be there. Don't stand up against those men again. Fatma Ghul is so trusting, and I won't turn my back on her. Fatma Ghul doesn't need you there, and I'm telling you, her sister-in-law will be her special witness. She'll tell what happened as someone who went through and saw everything. I said what I needed, but you can make up your own mind. I don't want you or your mother to get hurt, and that's all I know. See you later. Okay, I'll call you soon.